Hi guys, it's Nazla here. Welcome to my studio and thanks for being here. As you know, or if you are new here, I recently bought a printer. It is right behind me. I just purchased Canon Pixma Pro 200. On my last vlog, I already talked about the printer. I told why did I buy printer instead of like printing in somewhere else, uh, what's the reason and how much I paid for that, where did I buy it from, all the reasons in that video. If you want to check it out, I will leave the link here so you can go and check it out. For this video, we will look at some papers. So I have been searching about the papers and I already purchased some high price paper and low price paper. So, so far I had four different papers I'm going to try and the other ones are actually on the way, but I thought we can do another video about that when they arrive because it might take some time. I actually tried some of the papers and we have some issues with some of them. I don't think they all have a good quality, but we will already try and see in this video. As I said, I will be testing some other paper which didn't arrive yet and we will do this in any other vlogs. Maybe I can do some paper video again just for papers or I might include it into my vlogs. I just don't know. Uh, we'll see. So first of all, I want to show you what I actually purchased. So I got four different paper style and I will leave all the links for these in the description part so you can go and check it out and if I have to tell you I I purchased this Epson premium presentation paper mat um, we will try this one it is eight and a half by 11 inches it has 50 sheets in it so I think it's good and actually I did mistake of that, but we will talk about it because before I look at how to choose your own print paper for your printer, I just purchased some papers just for name, but actually you have to purchase the papers. First of all, what kind of printer you have. So like I had printer, which is inkjet printer, Canon Pixma Pro 200, and you have to get that little note on the paper so you can get a better result. I have paper which I will show you in a minute. I tried and it doesn't say anything about inkjet and that's true because it's kind of like came out washed out and it definitely doesn't look good high quality or anything else. So this is the first one. Let's look at the second one. So this one came with the printer and it has five samples I think. So five sheets. It's also eight and a half by 11. So I should say this is directly photo paper. I don't think I will use this because you you might check this out. This is photo paper pro luster. It's kind of like satin, um, semi satin. I don't know what do you guys call, but it's little shiny. It's not matte. It's kind of has like a smooth tex texture, but it's not like a matte finish. So I don't think I can use that. As I said, this came with the printer. I tried and I will show you the results, but it's not the paper style that I actually can use for my artworks. So the third one is from Staples. It is a good price and actually it is a better quality, even more than Epson. These are premium, but I think this is my favorite so far. I will show you all the results as well so you can kind of see why I like this one more. So this one is ultra premium photo paper. It's matte, 50 quantity. As I said, it's the same. All of them are the same, but the same, but this is eight and a half by 11 inches. So what is good about this is like super white. It's like very bright color. I like this, but like Epson, it's also good, but it's kind of like lighter than this. Like this paper is more uh, heavy, heavier than this. But one side is not white on the one side is like a white ish, but it's actually not. It's good to know what side you are going to print actually, but it's not good for greeting card style things. But this is this is like both side is pretty bright and both side you can print. So you don't have to get confused which side you should print 
or did you put the right side or one side is not white enough it's basically very convenient paper to use for every kind of things i think it's good even for prints as well good for greeting cards so this is my top favorite so far like the first favorite one and the last one and the worst one so far is like this is not even like a premium paper but i wanted to give a shot i'm happy that it's not expensive i will put all the prices on the screen as well you can check it out but they are not super expensive expensive ones are even though they are not super expensive but more expensive than these are on the way they are coming so we can talk about the prices or you can go check it out in the links this is like for greeting cards that i just saw this is by staples as well this is cardstock sheets so this is actually says inkjet compatible but actually it's not because this just came out like washed out style so i just wanted to give it a shot because it was cheap it was also saying greeting card i as i said i am really new doing this by myself at home i am learning on the way i like the color actually on this one and i like the texture it's like not perfectly smooth it's not looking like a hot press but it has a like it has a good texture that you don't think it's a lot or less so i like the paper but it didn't turn out good so these are the papers i just purchased as i said we will check them out now with the printer and we will see the results how is it gonna turn out for now i will try a couple examples for each one so we can see the differences between them we will see what kind of color quality we'll get or differences for thickness of the paper and the ink what we'll do with the paper's texture how is it gonna turn out and i'm really curious about that for all i wanted to get eight and a half by eleven so i can really compare easily and also it's for all kind of paper they have generally available for eight and a half by eleven i didn't want to purchase any other size first i wanted to see which paper i will actually like so if i can like any of them i can purchase different sizes for each kind but first i have to like it because paper is actually expensive so printer is kind of expensive but you can always purchase it but inks and papers are you know expensive and until you find the right paper you have to purchase many different papers to find the right one and i hope i hope it's not gonna be too late to find the best one for me so hopefully in this video we can find some good quality papers from these so let's just try it are all the prints that i got so far and i kind of cut them to the middle because i was planning to do greeting cards with these but first i want to show and share with you my opinions about them so let's start first with epson epson is a very good quality paper and i really liked it so one side is wider and the other side is darker you can see the difference so that might be good for printing maybe small posters but i don't think i will purchase this paper again so i will probably use it but i'm not gonna purchase it again so if we are gonna talk about the prints let me show you they turned out very good i'm very happy with the results so this is the city that i live in ohio and I made illustrations and I kind of want to print it. And this is the stadium in my city. So I am pretty happy with the results. Um, as I said, the only question in my mind is just like backside is like whitish. If I have to put both of them together, now it's more clear. You can see it, guys. So I don't know, the, will it look good on greeting card? It might, it might actually, but as I say, I'm kind of like confused by that. But the prints turned out very good. The closer shot, I mean, I know you see kind of darker actually, but the colors is quite good. I'm pretty happy with the results. 
So let's talk about this paper. This is by Staples and it's cardstock sheets. Actually, I just checked and on my printer there is cardstock sheets option in the papers option and i might try with that but this is definitely not going to be grading card option for me i like this paper it is thick enough i love the thickness and i like both sides is the same color it has a little texture and i really like that texture but the print turned out just pretty bad it's literally washed off i mean you can see the colors looks almost gray looks like a hundred years old maybe i print wrong i will give one more chance for something else but not for grading card and um, i don't think i can use this one for prints actually i will just use this paper probably for something else so this is the paper it came with the printer it's on only five sheets but good to try i wish they would send like a premium fine art paper other than luster because this literally has one side glossy you probably can see it it's literally photo paper i'm not gonna use this paper i wanted to show you uh if you are planning to print some photos actually prints turned out quite good like i love the prints how they look on the paper paper is shiny print print looks good i like the color quality i like the details i love how thick it is comfortable to use but it's only photo paper that i cannot use for my artworks so this is the last one for this video and my personal favorite actually this is staples ultra premium photo paper it has 50 quantity it's matte and actually the thickness of the paper is great it's like a super bright white i love that and both side is printable both side is look looking quick quite good and i actually folded this one already you can see that so the same prints when you put it together you can see that they look bright enough colors are good enough the ink is matching with the paper good texture is good it's smooth i love the texture i love the brightness and i love the weight of the paper thickness is good matte enough not shining as as i said this is my personal favorite i will continue to buy this paper and use this paper more for actually i will get a different size of this paper because i'm very happy with this paper this is for now personal favorite so so far these are all the papers that i have tried and my personal favorite is staples to be honest i already saw some other people were talking about it, how cheap it is you know how it's like a budget friendly it has good thickness ink works well on the texture of the paper quality of the paper it's a good quality paper and it is matte and it is as i said works for many different things i will probably get different sizes of this paper and keep it under my hand actually for now until i try the other papers I will continue with this paper because I'm pretty happy and I think I will always buy this paper but I don't think the other ones are going to be... Uh, I also ordered Canon Premium Pro. Let me actually check what I ordered. So I'm going to try Epson Velvet Fine Art Paper and also they, they have Smooth Fine Art Paper Hot Press. Um, I couldn't... I, I think they are out of stock for Smooth Hot Press press uh, paper but i think they have velvet fine art i will try that one it's 26 dollars on amazon and also i will try canon uh photo paper pro premium matte as well and i think it's like three different brand is coming epson velvet epson hot press fine art paper and also canon photo paper pro premium matte so if you guys are curious about that, you should definitely check my next video. You can subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you can hear what will upload to my channel. Uh, if you want to support my channel, you can like this video or you can leave a comment or you can subscribe to my channel. First of all, thanks for being in here and watching this video. If you came until now, I really appreciate you. And if you have any other paper recommendations, you can give it to me. I will be really happy about that. I will definitely check all the comments on my channel. You let me know what kind of papers you use and you are actually using right now and being happy with that. So yeah, this is all for this video. I hope you like that. So see you in the next video.